chair if you don't mind. All right. We already got it set up. Okay, um, tell us a little bit, last night, what happened? Oh, well, I was home in the bed asleep, and the <clears throat> Chad Barker and the deputy sheriff came to my door and knocked. So I got up to see who it was, and they come on in. Well, the first time he came by himself and knocked and asked me, did I see my sister's girl, Angel? There I did. Uh, she was here last night and had uh, drunk a little bit of beer and left, but I don't know where she went to. He said, well, if you see her or if she comes back, tell her I'm looking for her. I said, I sure will. Well, then he comes back again, him and Chad Barker and a deputy sheriff, and Angel and uh, Kirk, my sister's girls, they come back with them. And he comes in my apartment. I'm in the bed asleep and says, uh, I have a warrant for your arrest. And I said, what for? What have I done? He said, spirits to eat the cocaine, whatever it means. Uh, said, my sister supposed to tuck me somewhere to get cocaine. When I've been clean for 30 years, man, why would I be on cocaine today for after keeping myself clean that long? And I don't even do cocaine. I drink whiskey and beer when I do my shows and smoke a little bit, but I don't do that. And come in, me and arrest me. No uh, proof of what I've done of the crime. No evidence. And no proof of what I've, this crime I've committed. And I'm sitting in jail and don't even know why I'm doing here. And it's embarrassing. And I mean, it's invading my rights as a human being. Uh, we understand that they think there was some kind of conspiracy over the weekend with a drug sale with you and your sister Sue. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying, but they wasn't. I didn't have no drug sale for nobody. Um, how does it make you feel? I mean, obviously you're pretty mad about it. And oh, yeah, and I'm upset inside about it. Anybody would be, be falsely accused of something that they've not done. And I've got friends locked up in here right now saying that they are locked up for things that they didn't do, too. But I don't know how true their case is, but I know mine's true. And I'll take a lie detector's test to prove myself. I had nothing to do with no drugs whatsoever. So you said you've been clean for 30 years? Yeah. That's how long my record's been clean. And I've only got two charges on one was from Astic Battery, which my girlfriend calls, and she left me after my money's gone. We talked to Mimi today, and, you know, she says that she's kind of tried to take care of you and that, you know, you and Sue have been in trouble, and she tries to get the message through to you, and, you know, she kind of sounds I wasn't in trouble for nothing. Sue, all my family's been in trouble for me. They all got bad records set me. And now they're trying to get me into the gang or whatever they're doing and get my name messed up. That ain't right. Um, I don't want to be like that. I want to be who I want to be, and I want to be clean, man, and honest to people. And I'm sorry if I have to be this kind of person and sound the way I am. It's because I'm hurt, and I'm embarrassed and silent on account of this. After being clean for 30 years, man, I'm finally now booked for felonies that I've never had in my life. Uh, how does it make you feel, I mean, on, on the hills of the documentary going in New York and having the film premiere? I mean, how does this all make you feel? Well, it's just uh, things that they like about me. It's my talent, you know. And they put everybody else in it that knows me and question them. How do you know Jessica? How long have you been his friend? You know, things like that. Then we'll go out to beer joints and have a little bit of fun, you know, drink a little bit of beer. Everybody does that. Lawyers, doctors, and uh, everybody else goes out when they're not on the uh, doing their job, you know, to have a little bit of fun. But I can't figure out why I'm been set up. Where's the proof at? And I've admitted this crime that they set up I've admitted. And I'm sitting in jail here for nothing, man. And I want to get out on bond and go home to my little dog and take care of it. Because that's all I got when God is my best friend. In the trailer, I mean, there were some things in there. I don't know if you've seen the trailer of, of the movie. But there were some things of you not doing... Not doing some not so good things. I mean, what do you? Some people may say you you brought this. Oh, I was just carrying on. I mean, it wasn't nothing, you know, to be uh, worried about or anybody to be in any fear about or scared about. It's just things that we did for laughter. So uh, yeah. we talked to um, Kirk, and she said that a lot of the things in the movie were things that y'all didn't think were going to be in the movie at all. Right. They was mentioned drugs, yeah, on the movie and stuff. But that don't mean I was on any drugs. I didn't say nothing about any drugs. I was just goofing off and, you know, making them laugh like they wanted us to. You know, that's like acting like someone you're not. You know what I'm saying? You're a person, but you're having fun with what you're doing. It what not what uh, people sees it is. <laughs> so what do you want to say? And they to paid us to have fun with them. So we had fun with them. Hey, grab a couple hundred if you can to, you know, carry on a little bit. It's just, you know, having fun and enjoying yourself. And that's what was doing. What do you want to say to clear your name then? 
Well, what I'd like to say to clear my name, I'd like to see the proof or hear or see the proof what I've done to be here in jail. And that would take a lot off my mind right there. Because <laughs> being here today isn't helping your reputation. No, it's not. I mean, you know, and it's sad that somebody lies on you and sets you up something you don't even know about. And it is God's truth. And like I said, I'll take any test to prove myself. I don't have nothing to lie about. And everybody knows that knows me. They should know me, but now my record's been clean for 30 years. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm ch charged with. He said, conspiracy of cocaine. And said, my sister's supposed to tuck me to meet the person to get the uh, dope. And it was a lie. And the only, only place I was at was my sister's house. She let her, uh, my sister's girl run me to go, Mark, get cigarettes. We did do that and go back to her apartment. But we did go no Foster and this other stuff, whatever they bringing in in the picture, you know, is you, a lie. Do you think your sister's <laughs> messed up in this and she brought your name into it to try to take some? I don't know if she's her. doing it trying to get somebody out of jail or if she's just doing it trying to set me up or jealousy or what it is. Only thing I know, I'm blowed away from it. <laughs> I just like to be out on bond and be home with my little dog. Do you think your reputation has made you a target? Well, it. I don't know it might and it might not. I don't think your reputation, because like I say, I've got a good record. Why would my reputation make me look bad when somebody else is trying to do it? You do have the reputation, though, of being kind of, I'll put it, the, the bad boy of Boone County, you know? Well, so, but so about that. I am not a bad person. Like I said, it's you people that can act. You know, there's not uh, nothing wrong with that. As long as you know it's not breaking the law or getting in trouble. So, uh, but I have do got a clean record. You've been known as the Dancing Outlaw. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you feel like now that title's, I guess, not right since <laughs> you're in jail? <laughs> I mean, it just makes me feel embarrassed that uh, I have to go through this stuff for being cool and clean, you know, all that time. And I got friends, fans all the world. I don't even know. Just keeps coming seeing me, you know, and likes to hang out, laugh, and uh, have a good time. Because they say when they feel down, I can bring them out of it. You know, laughter, you know, carrying on with them. <clears throat> all right, I think that's all we need, sir. Thank you.